Jade, is that you? Uh, yes, I do mine. I'm about to have lunch right now, and if you want to wait, you have to stay outside. Look, I won't be a bother. You're already a bother. I don't think you understand the situation. I'm gonna see him, and I'm not waiting outside. Do I gotta call the cops? Is that really something you want to be doing? I suggest you relax and wait for your brother. Sorry, half-brother. So sit down, eat your lunch, and like I said, I won't be a bother. So are you going to tell me why you're here? And why is it so important that you have to see Chuck? That's under the category of my business and none of yours. I've known Chuck for a while now, and he never mentioned a brother. Not even a half-brother. Well, we're not exactly close. I can relate. My sister and I haven't spoken in five years. Last time I saw her, we had a competition to see who could yell obscenities loudest. I won. Now I'm lucky if I get a Christmas card. Besides, what am I supposed to do? Go see her, call her? That journey's a two-way street. And if she doesn't give a shit, why should I? Besides, family's as dependable as a crooked politician. And all politicians are crooked. If this ear has taught us anything, it's that. Are you voting next week? Both Kansas can suck the sweat off a goat's balls. It doesn't matter which one of them wins. They're both incompetent. Maybe we'll get lucky and have an assassination. We haven't had a good assassination since the 60s, considering Hinckley was incompetent. What do you expect from a piece of shit 22? Now, if he had a Smith & Wesson 500, that's no piece of shit. That's a gun for hunters in case they run into a bear. One shot, one kill. Badass motherfucker. If he had that gun at that range, he would have gotten the job done. How are you going to impress Jodie Foster? How are you going to impress anybody if you can't get the job done? Fucking amateur. So what's with the clown? He's a good luck charm. I named him Kroll, after a German serial killer. In 1982, he was convicted of eight murders, though he confessed to 14. Mostly women, mostly adolescents. He was also a necrophiliac, rapist, pedophile, and known cannibal. When Kroll was captured, they found pieces of his latest victim, a four-year-old girl in the fridge. Entrails were clogging the waste pipes, and a small hand was simmering on the stove. He didn't kill to eat, but he ate what he killed, and why not? Any serving of meat, if cooked correctly, with the right combination of spices, can be heavenly. Okay. That's not fucking weird. Are you hungry? I can fry you up in our steak. No thanks. So how long has Chuck been employed? Uh, he's been he's been employed recently. He hasn't had a real job, you know, a nine to five job in over a year, because in over a year he's been doing deliveries for my boss. Recently, one of the deliveries went missing. Maybe he thought nobody would notice. Maybe he thought he'd be overlooked. Whatever the case, I don't think you want me to be in there. I'm guessing I might find someone you don't want me to find. Maybe a half-brother. So, 
Whether you want me to or not, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if you think about leaving, don't think about it too hard. I might think about using this. I need you to stay in here until I get back. Don't make a sound, don't make a peep. No matter what you hear, stay quiet. Fuck. Where's your dad? So now I'm in the hole 50,000. The house was only 20. I thought I could flip it and make an easy buck. Easy? You really think that shit is easy? Shit like that ain't easy. Just because you make it look easy on our t reality TV show doesn't make it so. There's no such thing as an easy buck. Okay, enough about my financial apocalypse. What happens now? You wait here and I'll go inside. If he gets away from me, you know what to do. If anybody comes out that's not me, you know what to do. And if I'm not back in 10 minutes, you know what to do. All of this for less than two grand? You don't steal from Chimera. I get that, but I got better things to do. This is your fucking job. If you got a problem doing your fucking job, take a walk. I don't have a problem doing my job. I'm just saying, I got better things to do. Such as? Something different, something I haven't done, or find myself doing every day, because Every day feels like the day before. Even the most exciting lives become mundane to those who live them. Eventually, everybody's life becomes a bore, and we are stuck in a time loop of our own hell. Then what's the point of existence? None. I'm leaving. You know what to do. Chuck. 